What do you get when the Bills and the Patriots play? Another year and same old result. This was the penultimate game of the Bill season. Their ultimate game at Ralph Wilson Stadium for the season. And finally, thanks to Western New York restauranteur Russ Salvatore, a sellout. And I was hoping for a big thing, that the Bills could play spoiler against their old rivals, the Patriots. But you know when you get Bella took, and also... Pretty boy Brady at the helm. You know what you get. Another year. Same old thing. Boy, this is starting to resemble The Streak. It's actually The Streak. The sequel. As now, Buffalo owns the number one all-time losing streak against one team. And because of this, the number three all-time losing streak against one team. Everybody knows number one was their streak against the fish there in the 70s. But now, with this ugly defeat, it's number three all time. The Bills were in it for all of, uh, three or four minutes. Especially on a nice opening drive when Mr. Jackson ran for 50 of his 81 yards rushing down to a Ryan Lindell field goal. But then came Brady and the Patriots. Heck, he must not have had an accident while uh, having sex with his wife. But you know, that's a bungeon of malarkey, if you know what I mean. And also, three of the touchdown passes went to tight ends. Buffalo's tight ends didn't have any receptions. Buffalo's tight ends have been a joke the last few years. And two of those passes, touchdown passes, went to Buffalo area native Ron Gronkow Rob Gronkowski. And you know, with Gronkowski and the one who was the kicker of the Patriots earlier in the season before he got injured, Goskowski, boy, it was probably a Polish celebration if there ever was one. I wonder if Ivan Putski was somewhere. But you know, he was a hell of a wrestler. But you know, if Ivan Putski ever came around, they'd have to bring out the Polish hammer. <clears throat> and that's exactly what Gronkowski was to the Bills. A Polish hammer. And another hammer by the Patriots. In this long streak that seems to be going on and on. Boy, five more losses, and we do tie the the Dolphins for the most all-time consecutive losses. A very, very ugly 34-3 loss to the Patriots, or I should say Patriot Pukes, who with that win clinched home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Boy, Bill Belichick always seems to know what to do. He knows how to mold winners. And him and Tom Brady and the Patriots have the Bills number. But I'm just wondering, when will this ever end? Thankfully, the season comes to an end next week against the Jets down in the new Meadowland Stadium. The Jets backed into the playoffs. And Sanchez might not be at 100%. And also, Daryl Revis might not be at 100% for the Jets. And that might be some good news. Be nice to end 2010 with a win. Although it'll be 2011 when they play. But you know, 11 consecutive years without being in the playoffs? That's not good. And you gotta wonder when it's not gonna end. With some luck, maybe they can... Uh, trade their way up and grab the number one pick because you know Mr. Luck might be available with the number one pick but I digress that's wishful thinking we'll see I'm Ken Oss 
That's my story. And another loss to those Petra pukes. Ugh.